Hello, everyone. Um, I was really surprised that a lot of people started asking me questions about uh, the availability of SOLIDWORKS from the Experimental Aircraft Association. There seems to be some rumors that it's not available any longer, uh, it wasn't included with the membership, um, that it had limited features, all kinds of things. So I thought I might make this quick little video that will kind of dispel that and let everyone know exactly what is available. First and foremost, uh, it's not included uh, with the membership to EAA. It's a supplemental fee. So you have to pay your $50 a year to be an EAA member. And then on top of that, you can subscribe to uh, SolidWorks for $50 a year, which is an exceptional value for makers and hobbyists at home. It's an absurdly cheap amount of money for the power that you get. And uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to walk you through making that happen to be able to join if you're not a member and also to add um, the uh, uh, SOLIDWORKS capability. So first of all, I've visited EAA.org and I'm just going to go up to the search tool and type in SOLIDWORKS and it'll take you to the SOLIDWORKS resource resource center and there's a couple of things that are awkward about this just I think the whole uh, sign up process could be a little smoother but let's just uh, walk through it and then I'll just say yeah you're going to struggle a little bit signing up but uh, and getting it all loaded but you just follow the directions they send and you'll get through it. Uh, first thing is you can see that uh, you get a 50% discount on it, so you pay $49.50 a year. In order to access it, you actually, there is no button anywhere on the page that says like at Get SolidWorks here or anything like that. Make sure you sign up first and you have your uh, EAA membership number. Once you have all of that done, you click on the actual picture. Let's go back and do that again. The picture or the link below it, these are the actual link. I don't know why, but you click on that and it takes you to the instructions page and you have to follow all of the instructions. They'll send you an email. It has some additional stuff in a in a document or PDF if I recall correctly and you just follow the directions and the only thing different about this is that SolidWorks is it is installed locally but it is called SolidWorks connected and it only runs through a browser and even though it's installed on your desktop computer you have to have the browser open for it to run that's the only thing that's different and it took a little bit of figuring out how this all goes down and where to access it uh, and I'm hoping this video will help you guys if you're interested in it so first of all let's dispel that there is nothing missing from SOLIDWORKS in fact you get more tools and access to resources than I've ever seen personally in 15 years or plus of using SOLIDWORKS um, so let's just kind of walk through that now once you get um, your membership signed up and you get access to it you have to go to this uh, 3d experience website and you create an account and this is actually where you download SOLIDWORKS Now I've already done that and I'm not going to actually show you how to do the installation again um, you'll have to walk through that but the interesting thing here is once you actually have the account in order to access SOLIDWORKS even though it's on your local machine there is no icon on your desktop to launch it it's on your computer I promise but it, you can't access it there so you have to actually go up to this little icon button up here that says roles apps and solutions and you'll see it expands all of this stuff and uh, you can actually access it here 3d experience SOLIDWORKS professional which is the version you get it is not feature restricted you get everything but you also get a ton of other apps and instructional videos and content on the web page I have never even used all of them so I'll just point out a few that I'm aware of 3d sketch for example is an app that runs on like an iPad or something and allows you to draw uh, geometry kind of a, a modern take on CAD 
The NC Shop 4 programmer allows you to generate toolpaths like Gibbs Cam or Master Cam uh, for creating a CNC toolpath to make parts. And a 3D Sculptor is kind of their take on um, digital sculpting tools. And I've never really used 3D Creator, but there are videos on all of this stuff. You can also Google it. And uh, a couple of the others that really pop out to me were X-Shape. I've never used it, um, but it actually is kind of a NURBS modeling system where you can create vertices and nodes on like a, a mesh. And then you can literally drag and pull the nodes and change the curvature of the NURBS and create this, uh, you know, 3D object. It's a really good way to, for example, to create kind of a rough outline and shape for, say, a gas tank for a motorcycle. Uh, and then from there, you can round the corners and do everything. It's not like where you just have to create surfaces. It's very intuitive. Um, if you've never seen it, might be something interesting to watch uh, a video on. The Wire EDM machining tool is exactly what it says. You can set up G-code for doing... Uh, uh, like for all you foam core guys that are doing foam parts, uh, you can generate your tool pass for the wire EDM machines with this tool. Uh, SolidWorks Connected is the actual SolidWorks app. And this is actually where you launch all of these apps. If you haven't downloaded them yet, each time you download a new one, it'll actually have to install it. But once it's installed once, it just is a trigger to launch it. SolidWorks Visualize Connected um, as many of you may know, SOLIDWORKS has a built-in rendering tool. Uh, it's kind of an entry-level tool. SOLIDWORKS Visualize Connected is actually a higher end. It has better textures, uh, better shaders. They're better looking renderings. Uh, it kind of reminds me of a program called Bunk Speed, B-U-N-K-S-P-E-E-D, Bunk Speed. You could Google that, kind of get an idea for it as well. Uh, there's a lot of tools in here that even I've never used in all these years, um, but there's quite a bit you know, of, you just have to explore them. But I mean, there's probably more than 30 or 40 uh, different apps and tools that are in here for just about everything you could possibly imagine. So with, with that said, let's go ahead and launch SolidWorks so you can see how it looks. You can see the little icon launching SolidWorks connected. I've already gone through the install, like I said, and I'm sharing just a portion of my ultra wide monitor, so I'll have to move some things around. You can see the corner of the uh, SolidWorks pop up during um, login. Now, in order to run it, you have to actually have sol the uh, 3D Experience portal open and leave it open all the time. Um, it, you can't run the application unless you're connected. So you can see that uh, it just popped up. And I have a SolidWorks Maker, and you can see up in the top corner it said SolidWorks Connected. So I'm just going to open something, you know, my airplane that I've been working on, and um, maybe talk about that for a second to get people to subscribe to my channel. But um, we'll just kind of go through what it is that SolidWorks has first. Um, so SolidWorks is a full featured application. It's still loading. This is a big file. So bear with it just a second here. I have an engine in here and uh, hinges and I mean lots of different parts. So it takes a minute to load. Prop hubs all there, landing gear. Uh, I'm building a complete model of, uh, of the entire airplane. So I will say since you're running SolidWorks locally, you do need to have a good uh, computer. I have a uh, relatively new 12th generation Intel Core i uh, 7 12,900K and I have an NVIDIA RTX uh, 3060 video card and 64 gigabytes of RAM and uh, yeah it's a pretty beefy machine but it still struggles when you get really really big files so if you're going to get heavily into using the SolidWorks app uh, I would suggest that you look at uh, building a, uh, a better computer. But anyway, so there's the model all finally loaded and uh, we'll kind of hide my uh, 
decal top there so you can see the engine. I'm using a UL520T turbocharged engine, and uh, the shape requires me to create a different cowling. I'm going to have to modify the geometry over the standard cowl, but um, anyway, let's look at now that this is loaded, let's look at the SOLIDWORKS interface. So the SOLIDWORKS add-ins, you have CircuitWorks, to 3 d I don't have these loaded, but you can actually go into the uh, tools, uh, add-ins, and when the add-ins load, you can actually load feature work, scan to 3 d design checker, utilities tool analysis, auto trace, everything, right? So we can load all this stuff. And once it's all loaded, we can actually now access, we have entire access to the toolbox library. Uh, we have access to all of the add-ins, including the uh, beam calculations. So we can run uh, FEA inside of here. And uh, some of the other apps like SOLIDWORKS Motion, I just haven't downloaded these, but everything is available. So you can really do uh, pretty much everything that you would want to do. There's even the SOLIDWORKS circuitry designer. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty shocking that you get all access to all of this for such a small amount of money. Uh, but uh, yeah, so let's... Um, Let's look at uh, SOLIDWORKS Evaluate. We can actually do assembly editor, doing everything is available, whole alignments, measurements, uh, interference detection. You can do full import from IGES, STEP, or whatever other CAD files. Uh, it also has the surfacing technology built in. So let's open an individual file. So let's just open the scan of the uh, airframe. And let's go to the uh, mesh modeling tool. So you can actually do mesh modeling. And then there's also the surface tool. I have that surfaces over here. Uh, so you can actually generate knitted and stitched surfaces on the models. <coughs> so you have access to all of it. So if there's anything that I can answer, I hope that this starts a thread to uh, for people to um, uh, you know to look up SolidWorks from uh, through EAA and to download it. If you've got any kind of small projects that you're working on, I think it's a great way to uh, get access to SolidWorks for a, a very in my opinion, exceptional price. I just can't even imagine, you know, $50 a year for access to full SOLIDWORKS. So I hope this video helps and um, let's see some comments. And uh, if you're so inclined, I would really appreciate if people would uh, find me on uh, uh, YouTube. And uh, I've started a channel and I'll post the link below in the video.